Welcome back, financial enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the juicy metrics and mind-boggling numbers that make Verizon tick. Buckle up, because this ride is going to be wild. Let's kick things off with the P.E. ratio, or price-to-earnings ratio. Now, hold on to your hats, because Verizon's PR over the trailing 12 months clocks in at a tantalizing 14.12. But that's just the beginning. Over the last five years, it's been dancing around at an average of 9.98. Talk about consistency with a dash of spice. Can suggest a little overvaluation. And what about the PRFWD, you ask? Well, strap in tight, because at 8.27, it's like finding a golden ticket to the chocolate factory of future earnings. Now, let's talk about PG, or the price-slash-earnings-to-growth ratio. At 12.46, Verizon's PG is like a Rubik's Cube of valuation, challenging analysts to crack its colorful code. Remember that a value around one is when a stock can be considered undervalued. But wait, there's more. Insider ownership? Blink and you'll miss it, because at a mere 0.04%, it's like trying to spot a unicorn in a sea of financial wizards. Now, let's zoom into Verizon's financial acrobatics with some dazzling returns on equity, assets, and invested capital. With a return of equity of 12.65%, return of assets of 3.06%, and return of invested capital of 10.13%, Verizon's financial gymnastics are leaving us all speechless. Bravo! And what's this? With an EPS or earning per share of 4.66 and an EPS growth forecast of 1.13% over the next five years, Verizon's earnings are hitting the bullseye like a pro dart player. But hold on to your popcorn, because the evolution of earnings per share and free cash flow per share over the last decade is like a roller coaster ride through a financial funhouse. While EPS has been as steady as a rock with a compound annual growth rate of 3.86%, free cash flow per share has been doing the cha-cha with a minus 2.60% growth rate. Now, let's talk about dividends. With a mouth-watering dividend yield of 6.92% and a CAGR of 2.32% over the last decade, Verizon's dividends are like a never-ending buffet of financial satisfaction. But wait! Its free cash flow payout ratio is so close to 100% that Verizon can be considered a yield trap. Be patient and take a deep look at this stock if you are considering buying it. Now, what's the secret sauce behind these numbers? Well, Verizon's boasts an operating margin of 21.7% and a profit margin of 8.67%, serving up profitability hotter than a quick mobile connection. But amidst all the financial fireworks, Verizon's revenue and earnings evolution over the last eight years have been as flat as a pancake, with a total lack of growth that's got investors scratching their heads. And with a debt-equity ratio of 1.89 and long-term debt-equity of 1.71, Verizon's financial tightrope walk is keeping everyone on the edge of their seats, indicating good financial health. And what about recent performance? Well, Verizon's has faced some challenges in the last year with an average price return of 0.63% over the last 52 weeks. And with a market cap of $170.46 billion, Verizon is a strong player in the telecommunication service sector. But fear not, because analysts are predicting a bright future, with a projected price of $45.72 in the next 12 months, representing a mouth-watering upside of 17.11%. And for those who like to play the role of financial detective, our very own sleuth suggests a fair value of $46.05, hinting at a potential undervaluation that's got bargain hunters salivating. So there you have it, folks. Verizon's financial roller coaster is a thrilling ride filled with twists, turns, and tantalizing opportunities. Stay tuned for more financial adventures. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more financial adventures. Until next time, happy investing!